I think I'd be pretty safe in saying something that I don't think any of us would argue about, is that when you go to the menus in Adobe Photoshop, there's a lot of stuff under these things. There are hundreds of items under these menus, literally hundreds of things for us to get into. And it's not a bad idea, in terms of efficiency, to at least have a general clue as to where things are. Find them faster that way. But we can control what is in the menus in a very, very specific way. And this is not a new feature, but I do like it. Go to the word edit on the pull down menu and go down to menus right here. In menus, you have all of the different menus. You even have application and panel menus. Anything that you want to change, each one of the items has a choice with visibility and color. Let's go into file. One of the things I encourage at university, notice it's off right now. I encourage my students not to use the word file open to open a file. Kind of want to get them into using bridge and it become a habit to them. But a lot of times, and I'm probably just as guilty of this as anybody else, you kind of click file open because you know where the file is. You just want to get there fast. So what I try to do is remove things that I don't want them using. Now notice, I'll go ahead and turn that back off. If we click OK and go to the word file, open is not there. It's gone. Suggestion. Are there things that you absolutely never use? And these are really long menus. You can turn off the things you don't use and save yourself a little bit of space. Let's go back here and go into menus again. Now here's another one. Let's say there are certain things in the menus that you like, but it takes your eyes a second to find them. Well, say for example, you use Open as Smart Object quite a bit. And so we come over here and we change the color from none to some color that you would use, like maybe, uh, how about a red? Now we'll just do one. We click OK. We come back to the word File, and there it is. It's highlighted for you. That makes it easier for you to find it. Let's go back here again. I've made some changes to this menu. I've turned off Open, done several things. Let's say you really do a major rewrite to that menu. You're pulling things off you don't need. You're having a lot of fun with it, getting very efficient. And tomorrow you come back and go, I really wish I hadn't done that. It's going to take me an hour to put this thing all back together again. Not really. If you want to, just come up to the word Set, and you'll see it says Photoshop Defaults Modified, and that's Copy. If you click here, there's defaults for Photoshop. If you click that button, everything will go back to the way it was. But if you've made changes, you can make your own sets by clicking this button right here and have as many sets as you want. I mean, there might be a reason why you work specifically in a certain document or in a certain workflow where you hardly need anything in those menus except a couple of things. If you've got the time, it's really not a bad idea to set it up, and then you could save the set, activate it when you need it. One more thing, I mentioned this a little bit earlier, but I'm going to do it again. If you click here and go into New and CS6, and I'm going to go ahead and save the one that I just did, click OK. What you're looking at in Highlight is every single thing that has changed or has been actually a new addition in CS6. So you know CS5.5 pretty well. Now you can concentrate on the things that are new in the program. You can also change that over here. Notice we're on Essentials, and there's new in CS6 too. Here's the difference. If you change it from there, it changes the entire workspace itself. If you change it from the menu settings under Edit, it only changes the menus. It doesn't change anything else. That's the difference. Setting up menus in Adobe Photoshop CS6 is an excellent way to get better at what you do. Remember our goal. Reduce complexity. Increase creativity. On to the next.